Welcome to Crazy Town's 10 Minutes or Less. I'm Jonas. I'm TNT9. I might explode someone. Let's start the timer. Ba ding. Uh, TNT. Yo. I saw an article that just came out the. I mean, it came out a little bit. I just saw it the other day. Um, Germany uh -oh. is, is going to be, I think, the first country in accordance with gender equality is going to allow women to go topless at public pools. I mean, okay, good. Yeah, I, I'm just, I just, I mean, I am for fully for this. I <laughs> think this is great. <laughs> Why do you think it's great, Jonas? Because of equality. Because of equality. <laughs> <laughs> With this big shit eating grin on your face, I can't even believe you. <laughs> I mean, I don't believe you because like, of the grin. The grin just makes me not believe it, dude. I just, I mean, I also like boobs, but I uh, okay, of the equality. Yeah, here we, here we go. Yeah, dude. I mean, but no, I think it's great. Like, why? Why can't women go around top? I think they should go be able to go around top of anytime agree, they want. I agree. I, 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 the rules are not there for you and me. The rules are there for the stupid people and right. those without the ability to control themselves. Right. Exactly. Like, yeah, I could walk around an entire area with every woman in the entire place with her shirt off and not make one crude comment, not overly stare, not make them uncomfortable. But not everybody can do that. There's hardly. I would say. I would. I would be willing to bet that <clears throat> you. You. You take a room. Say. Say a room has a hundred people. Thirty of them are women, and you let them all go topless and let all the men go topless. I bet you less than thirty percent of the guys would not make a woman uncomfortable in that situation. I. I can kind of agree with that. And I would. Thirty percent might be high. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to keep it a buck with you, Jonas. I have a hard time. Like, you you like you ever seen, like, that that meme where it's, like, the kid in the classroom and he's got the vein popping out of his yeah, skin? Yeah, yeah, he's yeah. All freaking yeah, the, uh, the, the, test, the test kid? Yeah, yeah. That's, that's me when boobs are in the room. In general? Even covered up? I, yeah, I... Like, I just guess. in, like, a, a loose t-shirt? Hey, man. If there's cleavage, dude, I'm fighting. To, okay? to not, like, stare? I'm, I'm fighting. Yeah, I mean... Fighting. Yeah, like, I don't know how like you cannot look at boobs. I don't. I mean, even women like looking at boobs. Like, even I've had straight women be like, "Yeah, boobs are great." What's your secret, Jonas? What's my secret? How do you not look at boobs when they're in the room? Uh, man. Um, I all right. Let's keep it a buck right here. Let's let's just go. All right. So we're out with a group of people that we know. One of them has a girlfriend. She's wearing just a super revealing uh, outfit, and you're having a conversation with her. You have to concentrate to stare at her you eyes, to, dude. How, you do what? Do you, <laughs> like, do you just like burn a hole in her forehead with your retinal vision? Yeah, pretty much, man. That's what you got. That's what you got to do, man. And I think here's the thing: everyone understands it's going to be glances, right? Like in anything, because yeah. your eyes naturally move. When yeah, you're when yeah. you're in conversation, if you're at, staring at them at in the chest. face so much, it almost seems more awkward. Oh, not fair. So it's like, but it's all about yeah. You, it, it's all about it's all about glances versus stares versus you know what I mean? Because like <sighs> it's one thing you're like you're looking at somebody, your like, your eyes move down, they come back up. It's another if you're just like staring. It's an and like it's it's hard, man. And is that is I feel like there's a kind of an unwritten rule is that women know that they're wearing certain outfits are going to, it's going to get them a certain type of attention and men knows that we promise not to stare too much or it gets weird. Right. Yeah. I mean, and that's kind of it. I, and I think, and I, I don't know how deep that goes. Like, it's like, does a woman wear a cleavage showing outfit because she likes her boobs to be exposed or does she, yes. or, or is she doing that? No, but I mean, just because she likes how it feels or does she do that with the understanding it's going to get her attention? Don't understand that it's going to yeah, get it. and then and then that aspect it's like 100%. it's almost like a tip. Now, like it's not, I'm never going to say like, oh, you wore that, you deserve that sort that mentality. No, yeah, 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 but, absolutely not. But but it's like you know when you wear a certain shirt that people are going to look at you as, exactly. like they're like, oh, hey, I'm pushing my boobs out. People yeah. are going to notice that, right? Yeah. Um, just like if I went out wearing booty shorts, somebody would be like, yeah, why is that? Well, first people would be like, why is that guy wearing booty? And it could be like, I'm proud of my legs, and I'd be like, that's fair. But on the same note, my right. dude, you know what? You're proud of your legs, and you're trying to like, draw attention to your draw legs. Draw attention to your legs, right? And right. that's fine. The more I think any person, man, woman, other. 
that exposes more skin on their body than the average person walking around does ha- has to have the expectation that people are going to look. Whether exactly. they want to lustfully or what the hell is going on or... Yes, yes. Right. I mean, but see, on the same note, it is rude to stare. Right. So it is kind of like a general... It's like an unwritten rules that you're well, not supposed to well, stare. It's the same thing. Like even if it's not cleavage, but sometimes you'll see like like a, a larger girl or wearing like a tube top and a skirt and their yeah. belly sticking out. I'm like, you can't not notice that their belly's yeah. sticking out of the shirt, dude. And you it, can't it, not notice that. And it's not an indictment against yeah. against the woman or that or that person who's showing their belly. It's not an indictment. It's just like you know what you're doing. Right. Like well, you don't have that does not have to be there. Right. You know people are going to look at that, right. whatever that exactly. may be, whether it be Jonas's killer leg, <laughs> right, or or a girl with a yeah. low plunging. It's like neckline. if you have anything other than your full arm or your leg, your like from the knee down exposed, yeah. y- you bring on people noticing that you have more skin exposed than the average person has exposed. It, it, it's so nuts, Joe, because like we go to we go to the gym, man. And oh yeah, we see some of the outfits that these chicks wear. To some the of the outfits the dudes wear too. I'm like, what are you wearing mm-hmm. to the gym, bro? Like, mm-hmm. why do you need to wear a shirt that all the sides are cut out? <laughs> why are you just walking around in pasties? Right. Yeah, dude. It's <laughs> like <laughs> just everybody just walking around yeah, in pasties. There's dudes in there that come in and they have a t-shirt that the entire sides are cut out and they're but yet it's still connected at the weight like at the very bottom like one inch of fabric but it's like they're wearing just a tapestry and i'm like bro it's so funny because it's like i i swear to god like austin gym i you know like i've never been to uh la i've never been to miami gyms and i'm sure that there's some pretty ridiculous girls there but there's some ridiculous looking girls in austin gym like just beautiful 10 out of 10s um, at least visually. Oh yeah, I'm sure and the personality. It's like <laughs> it's like they walk around in like the tightest possible outfits that they can find, like skin tight, like freaking skin toned outfits. I'm like, what are you yeah. doing? Oh yeah, oh, they wear they wear literally like booty. Sh- they're literally yeah. wear what should be compression underwear. Yes, and a bra. Yes. And or, that's all they have on. Uh, or it's like I saw one girl like wearing something that was white and it was see through. And you, you like, and people are like looking, and I see other guys like talking about it and pointing and like moving their head and everything. I'm like, now you know you did not have to come to the gym like that. And on the same note, there is a lesbian that goes to the gym and she wears a t shirt and shorts and she looks fine. There's nothing wrong with what she's wearing, but I'm like, she's obviously not trying to draw the same attention. Right. As this well, person. right. Exactly. Like, it. It, as being someone who works out in a teacher, I wear compression garments underneath to catch my sweat, and I wear shorts in a t-shirt. I could go in my compression gear, but why? It does not make any difference to put on a a, a, a t-shirt over top of it. Hey, because you don't want to show them off. You don't want to show right, it off. Exactly. Do you but like, show it off? but like you know, right? Exactly. It does not change your ability to work out by wearing something that's covering up your skin. It does not. You know, so it's it's. I feel like people know what they're doing, but and like same, yeah, and like hey, that dude, look. and of course all the guys that wear the shirts like that. Those are the dudes who are like chiseled, like, and you can see their fucking uh, oblique sticking out yeah. the side of the shirt. Hey, shit. look, I'm not mad at that. Yo. No, but you should show off. But you it's 100% the same, it's the same. Show and that's off. what I feel people are doing at the gym, man or woman. Oh yeah, they're doing that. You're showing off your body. Absolutely. And good for you. Do that. Yeah. I, I agree. I'd like to show off too. Yeah. All right. I mean, hey. If I could look, I'm waiting for the day where they say man can walk around bottomless. Because <laughs> I'm gonna go out here swinging like freaking uh, uh, anaconda. They'll be they'll be like they'll be circus performers doing trapeze. Oh, out get out of here. <laughs> I'm going to be like picking up bales of hay with this trunk. I'm telling you right now, I swear to God, I'm going to peel. I can peel an apple with it. Yeah. I'm, I'm going <laughs> to show you that a thimble can cover something up. <laughs> I'm just saying. It's like if I can go bottomless, yeah, let's go. Right, right. Let's go. Yeah. I've just never been like a show off naked sort of person. I, I would just rather be covered up. My thing is like, uh, like I said, I don't find any issue with a person who wants to show off, but it's just like you got to be honest with yourself. And I feel like I got to be cut. I got to be cut some slack. I like I said, I have to fight when boobs are in the room. I'm not even gonna lie. Like I'm this vein popping out of my head because I like looking at them. And yeah. I hate it. I shouldn't say I hate it, but I feel embarrassed when I see the girl do the thing with her sweater where she like closes it. Yeah, Yo, yeah, that yeah. is the most infuriating. It's like I didn't get caught. There's no way I got caught, Joe, just because I'm bare just 
eyes in the forehead. Yeah. But that sweater clothes. Yeah. Oh. Or, or the or they pull the pull the t- the tank top up a little bit. And, and I think what bothers me the most about that is I hate making people uncomfortable, and I yes. know that I made them uncomfortable because that's it's not my intention either. Right. Right. And I was like, it may be just something that women do like subconsciously because yeah, because like I adjust my crotch all the time. Yeah. Right. So it's like I wonder if I was wearing a tank top like that if I constantly be like pulling, yeah, even yeah, though yeah, I don't yeah. have you know whatever. I but, don't know. But to pull your shirt together and then cross your arms, I swear to God, yeah. what I'm like, oh well, I guess I'll just go shoot myself in the crotch. Right. Right. Exactly. So that's all time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to go to thecrazytown.com and subscribe for Jonas. T T. Uh, we out.